Hey, this is Stacy with another wonderful blog post from Celibacy Diaries. I thought this post today and I forgot the inspiration. But here is the post entitled, It's Too Late to Do Any Damn Thing About It. So, <coughs> Let me read from my script because I for sometimes forget what I have to say. When my grandma, Arletha, Will, Arletha Reese Williams, Thames, no, Arletha Reese Williams, Emerson Thames, she and her second husband, Rest in peace. Her first husband died while she was pregnant with the youngest, who died in about 2007. And he was born in like 1961, 62. Um, and then she met her second husband. I'm not sure when they got married, but he died in the 90s. And she and her second husband owned plenty of land, plenty of acreage. And she owed plenty of back taxes. And I really paid it. I remember seeing the letters come in the mailbox since I checked the mail most of the time. All the letters, all the late notices, you know, they come different colors, you know, pink and red. Pay this bill now, you know. Telling her or the husband, Mr. Timms, Mr. Lee. ATMs to pay the freaking property taxes. My grandma died November 8th, 2000, still on property taxes. The family, some of the family, I don't know which ones helped pay since I gave birth to Brad the day after she died and not sure who pulled together and paid the back property taxes. My great grandmother had 10 children and when my grandma died only one had died previously and so there was a you know and the brothers and sisters have a lot of children between them and like right now only three have died my grandmother my aunt and one of my great grandma's sons and that was it no one continued to pay the taxes on the land since 2000 so it's been 14 years and the last few months Montgomery County auctioned off the land to the highest bidder the property which has been the family for the longest is no longer a few days ago my sister took the Facebook to discuss the family losing their land now all of a sudden the next generation the cousins the sisters more cousins, and I want to discuss getting the land back. The back taxes were over a hundred thousand dollars. That's almost as much as all my student loans combined, and I paid back three of them, and they still over a hundred thousand dollars. All the young ones wants to rally together and save the piece of the land. I mean, it's a big piece of land that no one really has stayed on since it, the house, my grandma's house burnt down a few years ago. You know, about 2006, 2007. Some of them were shocked because they did not know the land was auctioned off months ago. Guess the older generation of uncles and great uncles did not mention this. I sent a private IM to my sister to let her know the property was auctioned off months ago and it's just too late to do anything about it. The property is sold. The county has got their money. Now they now they're sending letters to the heirs, to my mother, my brother, stepbrother, sisters, to disperse the extra for a small fee. My grandma had four children, my mother plus three brothers, one died. Her second husband also has four, four or five children, and most of them are still living too. Because the family did not continue to work together with everyone to say the property, the property is not sold to someone else. Because my grandma and grandpa had poor financial management while they was living, family lost their land.
I don't feel no ways tired I can't go back to where I started from Nobody told me that the road wouldn't be easy I can't believe he brought me this far my whole life and I've been working so hard. Great information. Combination. James Cleveland. Nelly. So, sometimes in life we make mistakes, we make errors. We cannot go back and fix our mistakes. It is simply too late and there is absolutely nothing we can do. I can't go back and get rid of my herpes diagnosis. Even though I was faithful, I still got a lifelong disease. I can't go back and not get married at 19 years old. Happily divorced, but I should have not got married that long. I can't go back and erase both miscarriages, even though the second one helped contribute to my celibacy journey. I can't go back and eliminate, remove, minimize some sex partners. Many, and I don't mean many. I should have left alone, never met, never met online, never interacted with, never engaged with, never talked to, I am emailed, <laughs> said a second thought to, just left alone. I can't go back. And there's nothing I can do about it. But you can still move forward and learn from your experiences. You can still learn from your mistakes. Still receive redemption. It may be too late to change your past, but you can always change your future. Thank you. Stacey Wyatt, Celibacy Diaries.